At age 15, Maslan Othman was captivated by literature and the arts and dreamt of becoming a philosopher. But her teacher saw a different path for her. With a gentle nudge, they steered her towards the sciences, setting her on track to become Malaysia's first astrophysicist. I did not question my teacher's decision that I should go into the science stream. It was very clear that the country needed more scientists. That, for her, was the turning point. By the time she was an undergraduate, Maslan had developed a profound connection with astrophysics, which fueled her groundbreaking work in space sciences. She played a crucial role in the launch of the National Microsatellite Program and also spearheaded the team that sent Malaysia's first astronaut into space. Despite challenges in terms of securing the necessary resources for space exploration, Maslan's determination never faltered. Oh, you have to do the substantive. I mean, you've got to convince them why, why, uh, what benefits does uh, space, uh, involvement in space bring. So we're talking about involvement in space as it relates to our national security. We talk about sustainable development, the benefits that you can bring to the survivability of the human race. Maslan's motivation was also always clear to elevate Malaysia on the global stage. My duty to the country is always there. Throughout my career, there was no question uh, about what I had to do. But Mazan's story isn't just about her. She wants to encourage women to dive into science, technology, engineering and mathematics, or STEM. We should make women uh, and girls aware that science is a rewarding career. Science career is actually extremely rewarding if you look at what you can contribute back to the country, to your community, to the world, and to the earth itself, to the planet. That awareness must be instilled by parents at home. And that's where, as a parent, you have a lot of influence. You've got to, you sit role model, role model for your children, to encourage them to think about um, what is around you, to make them think about uh, beyond whatever they're learning in school. She says sciences should also be taught differently in schools, using innovative teaching methods to make the subject more captivating for students. Reflecting on her achievements, Maslan credits her success in the male-dominated field of space sciences to motivation and self-discipline. I'm never thinking of leaving a legacy that is up to the future generations to decide. I just worked hard in everything that uh, I thought had to be achieved in order for the country to come to a certain point in saying we are a space nation. Amira Huda, FMT News. Thank you.